Alright guys, before I start this video I forgot to mention what is in the front over here, so check the description and here you go. Hey guys, Blaze here. I uh, I want to redo my power guide, well sort of revamp it because I find I didn't give enough tips and tricks on how to use the power in certain situations because I just gave a very broad and general view and I find it wasn't enough because some people are still asking me a lot of questions about it and also I want to preview almost all the mods or at least all the mods that I've used and other people have asked me about because I find that there's still a lot of unanswered questions and I'd like to go through it with you guys and finally put an end to all those questions hopefully alright guys I am using fox hunting because it is probably one of my most favorite maps and also, it has a lot of the stuff inside, which I'm going to be using for my guide, a lot of the scenarios that you guys are going to be going through. Now, number one that I want to talk about is stairs. Stairs are probably the worst thing to fight on with a para. It increases your bloom and recoil also, so it's just nasty. What you want to do is fight on surfaces like these, just straight up surfaces. You don't want to do stairs. Stairs are a no-no. If you have to fight on stairs, do not fucking move shot. Plant your ass down. You better crouch and start shooting. You don't want to be moving. That's the best thing you can do. Especially for slants as well. Stairs and slants are very similar. You don't want to be on a slant when you fight at the power either. Alright. What Also, what else I want to talk about is the overall range. You don't want to be fighting someone past 25 meters. I mean, that's just retarded. I mean, look how far 25 meters is. That's really far for a para. I mean, generally you don't want to fight all the way past this point. I mean... It's pretty hard to outgun most guns like AMDs, uh, M4A1s, the 5.56s from that range. You'll most likely lose. And due to the fact that you'll most likely need to crouch just to outgun them, that they'll easily headshot you. So 25 and over, it's a big no-no. It's very bad. I would say less than 25 meters, probably 15 to 10 meters is the sweet spot of where you should be fighting. So play to your gun's strength. Your gun is a mid to close range gun. Stay close. If you have to push somewhere, push the shortest way possible. Now, I'm talking about jump shots. Let's see, where can I go for a jump shot? Um, Alright, let's go to the stairs over here. Now, jump shots are also a big part of this game, but people said the power can't jump shot. Well, it can, depending on the mods. Now, if you want to do a jump shot, Reinforced or Spetsnaz has to be by far the best jump shots. I mean, they're very accurate. If you do one shot... I mean, look, the shots are generally going in the same place. That's retarded. Like, that's a crazy jump shot. But I wouldn't recommend it, only if certain situations call for it. And uh, jumping in, to in general with the power is really bad. Like, jumping corners, just... If you jump corners and spray, your bloom instantly becomes humongous. Rather than just turning the corner and start spraying. Don't jump, alright? You should never jump in any scenario unless it really calls for it. Now, if you say, well, what, what scenario calls for it? Well, it all depends on the kind of gameplay that you're having to do to, do to win that fight. But generally, don't jump. It's the worst thing to do for almost any gun. Now, also, is knowing when to move shot. Now, move shotting is a big part of this entire game. But, it's you can kind of say it's also a big part of the para too, but it contradicts itself with the, with the move shot and the crowd shot because... They're both, they're both, like, they're both really needed, if, if you want to say that. Now, for the move shot, best is maybe 15, 10 meters max. I wouldn't move shot anywhere further. I'd have to crouch beyond 25 feet for sure. Um, always try to aim for mid-chest to upper body and then just spray. Or, so, I'm sorry, burst. If you burst, the shots will eventually go upwards in a 2-3 to three shot pattern and most likely hit the head but you have to be this you have to be very quick like this that would have been a headshot if the guy was maybe seven feet tall <laughs> so yeah always keep moving and always burst it if you're move shotting tap move shot works too but it's also really hard to do and really hard to manage if you're not really good at tapping like s most of the players are in AVA now another thing I want to mention is the headshot level look at Righteous over here look at him Headshot level crouching is maybe about normal gun position when you spawn in. Regular headshot level may be about an inch or two inches taller. So always keep the headshot level when you pop in, boom, boom, boom. Always keep the headshot level whenever you're moving. 
it's probably the best thing. If someone's capping a corner right here, headshot level, boom, 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 dead. Always keep it. Alright, now another thing is very important is assessing someone's skill level and your own skill level before engaging on long range. Now, if you know that, let's say the enemy has a 5.56 five, and you have a para, obviously, and you know that he is better than you, in general, you do not want to fight that. You do, don't take a chance. Just back up and like wait for the close range where you can destroy his gun because of your damage. Now, if it's a bad player with a 5.56 five, and he's really bad, he's missing everything, and you're a good power player, I would say definitely try it or even go for it. Assess your amount of HP first. If you see you have enough HP to tank a few shots, I should definitely attempt it. I've done uh, many, many long range fights like that. Uh, clutches that I've had to fight long range. It's been working. Just assess the player's skill level. If he's really, if he's much better than you at long range, do not attempt it. You're just gonna end up losing. Now, another thing is EGO8 gloves. I know people don't like spending the money on it. I personally don't. But in tournaments and maybe like some competitive clan wars on my alts, I would definitely use it. It helps with the move shot. And come on, better move shot is just beautiful on any gun, especially the para, a gun that's lacking move shot. More move shot, better kills. Just end the story. Now, another part of this para guide is spraying. You don't want to be spraying at all. Now, spray maybe 5 to 1 meters max. That's about it. I mean, look at that. That spray is really bad. I mean, I've sprayed so many times if I'm lost. Close range just because of it. You don't want to be spraying. The best is either burst or tap. Burst is the best from 10 to 15 meters. Probably around here. I mean, look, you know, it's pretty nice. I'm not really controlling it, but, it, I mean, it works well. 15, 50 meters and over, you probably just want to tap it. Um, and uh, the last thing is playing, playing to your, gu uh, your gun's strengths and your strengths. Uh, I mean, your gun is close to mid-range, as I stated in my other guides and in this video before. You don't want to be at a really long range fighting someone. Stay close. Let's say you're in India and you want to guard one, stay near the door, stay behind the pillar so when the guy comes up you have the close range to fight him. Or like, let's take fox hunting for example, stay inside warehouse or mansion. There are a lot of close quarters, like right here, this is where the para shines. It is really strong and generally you should be able to outbeat any opponent that pops in to your vicinity just because of the close range. Now also I want to talk about mods. Mods are probably the key to this gun. I mean, any good power player could pick up any power and do well, but if he picks up a very, very well modded para, he can do extremely well, or even like godlike shit, man, okay? Like, I'm not even joking. So, it's all about the power, uh, I call them god, uh, god mods, because uh, they're so OP. Anyways, it's all about what works for you. If you see someone else doing really good in a pub, right, let's just say he's using ergo grip only, like some people say, which disgusts me anyways. That's just because they're probably very used to it or they just like the field. Doesn't mean you're going to. Just because someone's doing good with the para, it can mean a lot of things. It could be like a good game. They could be tryharding. They can be... We could have been playing with the para for a very long time like I have. Do not try to take someone else's mods and try to fit them around yourself. Get your own mods. Find a bunch of mods. See what you like. Check different barrels. And then start adding and subtracting. I spent over 40k on para mods just to find the proper ones that I liked. But luckily for you, I am going to be featuring 14 different mods that you can be using for your para that are going to have explained video 